Hi, Intuitive D, 1111 here. If you want to win a free reading, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like a recent video you enjoy, and leave me a comment down below. Um, wow. This is, this is a lot. This is multiple towers. I don't know what's going on here, but we're going to get into it. So there's somebody that wants you, okay? They're looking at you like you a snack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone loves your lips, you know, someone just loves your scent, someone, yeah, somebody wants to take a gamble to come towards you, okay, um, taking a gamble, someone here could be a risk taker, okay, someone wants to take a gamble because, you know, for some of you, they want to take your relationship to the next level, okay, for others of you, maybe they want to actually propose to you, uh, for some of you, the secret child could represent they want a new beginning. So don't completely get freaked out by that. Um, of course, this message is for chosen ones moving out of love and light from your heart. I got a bunch of channeled messages that flew out of several different decks. And we're about to get into it. So this person is focused on you. Okay, they're focused on you and they have someone that's focused on them. Whoever is focused on them it's like is being way too aggressive. They're trying to keep them from coming to have a new beginning and taking a gamble with you. They know this person wants you, okay? Someone could be pregnant, a child could very well be involved, but they're dealing with someone that is, you know, that could try to emotionally manipulate them into staying with them, guilt trip them, you know, try to remind them of everything they feel that they've done. You know, all the norm, you know, the normal <sighs> karmic behavior, you know, why don't you love me? All that type of stuff, right? And then I feel like this karmic could also be throwing threats as well because we have over here a run. It says being too aggressive. So this karmic might even turn violent, okay? That's a warning for somebody. Someone feels like someone was playing around too much, okay? They were in this whole bros over hoes um, mentality where they cared a lot about what other people thought. But some of these bros, somebody here was... Someone in the collective, clearly they were on the low and they were smashing some of these bros, okay? That's why they were thinking bros over hoes because, shit, they didn't even need the hoes. Apparently, they was getting what they wanted right from their own bros, okay? But someone was playing too much. I feel like someone took this relationship as a game in the beginning, okay? You could have been over backwards for this person or maybe even this karmic has felt like they've been over backwards for this person, Okay? Or maybe your person been over backwards for this karmic. I feel like everything you wanted this person to do towards you, they did to this karmic. Okay, I feel like you wanted this person to love you, they were showing fake love to the karmic. Okay, you wanted this person to spend time with you, they were out there spending time with the karmic. You know, I feel like this person here definitely was confused. And now they're realizing that, you know, they've lost you in so many words or they feel like they're losing you. They feel like you guys are like, man, exactly what this card says right here. Like you was playing with me, you know? Don't tell me that you want me and then be over here with, you know, uh, Tom, Dick, and Harry or, or Susie, Maria, and Lucia. You feel me? Yeah, I feel like with you guys, some of you, they wanted to keep it low key. They wanted to keep it low key because they still wanted to be out there doing their thing. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Somebody definitely got pregnant. Okay, so the karmic who your person is connecting with is upset because your person is pregnant by another, right? And so they're freaking out. Yeah, I, three cards clarified all together. Pregnancy, new beginning. It's like confirmation. Somebody is definitely pregnant or there's children involved here. But I feel this karmic didn't want this person supporting this child. This karmic didn't want this person having a new beginning with you, is what I'm seeing, okay? And I feel like this person and the karmic have been focused on you instead of getting themselves together because we got a whole bunch of shit over here and I'm about to get into it. So your person wants you, right? Thinking of, le of making love to you right now. We keep seeing that. You know, star seeds moving out of love and light. They feel like they've lost an angel, but you guys are like, hmm. yeah, you're realizing that now, <clears throat> right? Because somebody's karma is terrible. You know, we've been seeing these in these karmic readings that are not even karmic readings, just in general, that the tower moment is coming to knock down anything built on false foundations, right? Yeah, somebody here is hating their choices. Somebody was involved with a poly relationship here. It's like they all are being exposed. 
Okay, someone here could be trying to avoid paying somebody back. So I don't know if this person owes you guys money or maybe this person owes the karmic money or maybe the karmic owes them money. It's just a lot of BS over money. Yeah, somebody's over here crying crocodile tears because this person is focused on you. <laughs> I can't make it up. They put it on, but, but, but what about this? You said you were going to do this together with me. You said we were going to go here together. You said that we was in this thing together. You said that we were, no, absolutely not. Cause we've already been seeing a lot of these karmics have been doing spell work. And then we have over here, I don't care these hoes. So someone was definitely in a poly relationship, you know, just cheating with whoever. Okay. But then they have the nerve to still be dreaming about marrying you. Make it make sense to me. We have someone over here that could have some type of addiction. They're burning through all their money. Okay. Someone's love sick. Yeah. Your person is in love with you. That's what we have right here. Yeah. For some of you, they most definitely want a family with you. Or they just want you guys to have a long-term commitment. But the problem is, is that somebody over here is most likely getting arrested. So what they want you to do, wait for them for a million years, wait for you, wait for them for decades. And then the whole time they were out of jail, they still didn't even make things right with you. But they expect you to wait for them while they've been out here uh, for some of you messing with the whole damn town because we got STD here. Someone is a dirty bird. Okay, someone here is on meth and weed. Someone here is, this is my apartment, you get out. So this is what happened in um, Heaven Sent when, you know, she was the hostile spirit and she was mad because, you know, the other guy, Mark Ruffalo, I think it was, had moved into her apartment. So, um, you know, people could be fighting over living spaces. Somebody could be, you know, getting kicked out or somebody's trying to move. Yeah, I feel like, you know, for some of you, your person now for some of you your person didn't work against you okay very well your person just got caught up cheating or staying in another marriage or staying in another connection but for some of you this person did in fact agree to work against you okay for some of you it could be because you know they were in a cold or they were in a coven or very well could just be the fact that you know they were immature they thought it was it was it was fun to make fun of the love that you gave them to those around them that's how narcissistic some one in this energy is i can't make it up if i go to jail will you wait for me so somebody worked against you but they want you to wait for them <sighs> wow and then the, and then they're hoping that you still desire them because clearly we see over here that they want you okay the karmic is mad about it they're crying crocodile tears they know that you know Someone wants a new beginning with you. Okay, they're trying to figure out why this person isn't answering their calls anymore like they used to. Why they're acting like they're never available. Okay, it's making this karmic hostile. Okay, and then your person is realizing that the karmic that they chose over you is a damn nightmare. It's like they left you and all you probably wanted them to do was communicate and be accountable and treat you with love and respect. And they went over here towards somebody that was straight possessed. I can't make it up. This is insane. Yeah, and now they're being haunted at night by their decisions. This is crazy. And, you know, it says it's hard quitting these addictions. So for some of you, it's like this person had a problem with drinking or smoking. For some of you, they had a problem. Like we've been seeing, like, you know, uh, what is it? Pay for pay for something, gay for pay, pay for... I don't freaking know because I'm not into all that bullshit. But all I'm seeing is this person had some vices, okay? They could have been hoeing themselves out or paying hoes. Yeah, but they want you to know that they're sorry for breaking your heart, okay? And then someone in this energy is feeling rejected by a love interest. They're feeling rejected, okay? They're trying to understand you know, what's happening within their connection. Someone's been cheating at a friend's place. They've been saying, oh, guess what? I'm just hanging out with, you know, I'm just hanging out with my homeboy or I'm just hanging out with my homegirl. And the whole time they've been messing around with the homeboy or the homegirl, or they've been picking up people at other places and bringing them back there. I can't make it up. What is this? Yeah, someone was around using the karmic for money. So now you understand why this karmic is so upset. This person could have very well been, this person could have lost a job. The karmic could have foot could have footed the bill paying for everything they could have told the karmic oh when i get a job i'm gonna pay you back okay and then all they do is kick the karmic a little bit of money here but they still are owing money 
to this karmic. So for a lot of you, that's why the karmic is upset. Okay? That's why their karmic is upset. Because they feel like this person fell through on what they promised to do. Now, for not all of you, for some of you, it was in reverse. You know, the karmic owes them money or the karmic is just living off of them and is is not really doing much to help this person for some of you your person could be a workaholic and this karmic is constantly asking for things but not you know but not contributing and then they have the nerve to have an attitude when this person gets home and this person's out there working their ass off and paying for everything so make it make sense yeah, and that could be for somebody that's married or someone in this connection, in this poly connection. One person could be married. Both people could be married. They could be married. Some people married but separated. I mean, it's just all kind of different things. Yeah, someone's going to pass over or someone already has passed over. Someone here has an excess passing over. This is crazy. And it says... um, it says, I'm not human and I miss it. I miss it more than anything in the world. And that is my secret. So that is Klaus from the originals. Um, and, you know, when he went from being a human to a vampire, you know, he became out of control. You know, he became addicted to blood. He became violent. He became, nar he was already narcissistic, but it took it up a notch. Okay, so I feel like your person, for some of you, we see all the possessed here. They've been dealing with all these karmic energies. It's like they don't recognize themselves anymore. They miss when they were loving and empathic and when they could actually feel emotions the way that they should and not in a crazy imbalanced way, but in a healthy way. It's like this person's looking back at the past and they're wishing how they used to be. And it's like they can get back that way again, but they have got to leave these karmic connections al um, alone. Okay. And it's like, yeah, this karmic is like, man, I wasn't born yesterday. I know you're using me. I know you're about to go back over here to, you know, your chosen one or whoever it is that you meant to be. And your person's over here like, man, please let me go. Like, it's done. It's over with. I don't care how much you cry. I don't, I don't care how much I said that you thought I was going to pay or I said that I was going to pay. I don't care how much I... I owe you, you know, if anything, shit, I'll send you that money later on. I'll cash up you that shit. Just leave me the fuck alone. Like, let me go. Okay. This person's trying to get out of there and see this person did a lot of choices, <laughs> made a lot of bad decisions with the fast life here. And a lot of it was all over money. And we've been seeing with these, with these karmic couples and these fraud, you know, scammer couples and scammer groups is what I'm getting. It's a group of people. Okay. It's like they all were doing corrupt things for money and they're all being exposed. And so it's like your person is, man, their person is tired of fighting. They are tired of, it's too damn, number one, it's too damn hot to be arguing with anyone. If you around somebody that you got to be arguing with and they're not making you smile and you're not happy and you're not hugged up and you're not, you know, just enjoying life, then, then what are you doing? Because what I'm seeing here is this person is tired of fighting. Maybe they feel if they come towards you, it'll be a fight. But what I'm seeing is they're fighting every single day, multiple times a day with this karmic. Yeah, so your person could be out there meeting another person. Maybe the karmic is too. But what I'm seeing is I feel like you're about to be meeting another person, chosen ones, if this person does not get their act together. We already seen in a previous a reading that for the will of fortune, it's like the door was being shut. It's like this person has one last chance to get it together. And for many of you, you're closing the door, period. Yeah, because I feel like you're dealing with somebody that feels like they know how to manipulate people they feel like they know how to work people so they could have thought you were gullible for loving them okay but now this person here wants to take a leap together with you okay but in the past you know they could have been talking against you you know they could have been talking mess about you to their boys or to you know the hoes that they were messing with or you know um and somehow blaming you because maybe they were trying to save this karmic connection or or look a certain way in front of their family their friends OK, now this person feels like they're in the hot seat because they're under spiritual judgment and all of their dirty deeds are coming out and not just to them, but everyone involved in this karmic connection. Yeah, it's like they're sitting there. Some of you, they're getting physically violent with this karmic. This is crazy. And, and it's because the karmic feels like, well, heck no, you had a prior obligation towards me. You had something that you that you said you were going to do with me. It's like this karmic has been trying to tie this person's hands to keep them tied to them 
you know, they think, oh, well, if I look a certain way, then maybe, you know, they'll, they'll want to stay with me. And maybe if I get my body right, it's like, it's all shallow. Maybe if I come up on my money, you know, it's all shallow. If someone's really fucking with you, they not, you know what I mean? They're looking past the exterior. They're loving you for you, whether you have money or whether you don't. You know what I'm saying? Whether your hair is lined up perfectly or whether it's not. I mean, that shit is shallow. Yeah, it's like your person is lusting over you, chosen ones. It's like they're daydreaming about you. Some of you having wet dreams and all this shit over you. But then your person, you know what? It's like your person has wanted to have their cake and eat it too. You know, because some of you, it's like they want to act like they about that life. Well, if you about that life, then you should be able to speak your truth. You know what I'm saying? Unless you out here like like false false flexing up in these damn streets, you know? If you say you about it, then be about it. Right? Cuz in my mind, a man should take action and right his wrongs and be like, "Damn, baby, I fucked up. This is what I did." Own that shit. You know, when I had fucked up in my last marriage, you know, and I ended up cheating with my TF after like 10 months or whatever of me and him playing cat and mouse, I owned up to that shit. I did. And it caused a whole lot of fucking problems. But at least I was about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what? This is what I did. Period. That's what it, that's what it looks like to take accountability. And then you let that person deal with it. You know what I'm saying? You let that person process what you're saying. Because that's what I'm saying over here. Someone is acting like they hard, but they acting like they really are a coward because they're not willing to have a conversation. And I bet you, I tell you one thing, if I could go back in time, I never would have cheated like that. I would have did everything the right way. I would have made sure that I was done with that connection before, you know, moving on to my TF. And that's why, you know, I, I talk about making sure you close one cycle before you get into another. Yeah, someone over here is having a beaten Here's this damn colder coven. They could be having a meeting between a group. It doesn't have to be a colder coven, okay? They could just be having a meeting with a group of different people, okay? And these group of different people are karmic. It could be family, could be friends, could be coworkers, okay? They could be involved in something illegal or something they shouldn't be. Or maybe they just don't want to hear the damn drama of this situation anymore. And they could be trying to tell this person to move on from you. But your person is like, nope, it was love at first sight. You know what I'm saying? That's my person. You know, this person wants to confess that they love you or that they're still in love with you or, you know, they want they want to come through. They want to take a risk. Um, they want to fight for this love. But it's just this person could just really have a blocked throat chakra. They have a hard time communicating. OK, they're not great with words. You know, Papa was a rolling stone. This person definitely, you know, <sighs> learns the hard way and stubborn. OK, they've been out here doing the most. Okay, definitely been out here doing the most, populating the planet, pollinating the planet. We already seen that somebody very well is a dirty bird because they were out here sleeping with a lot of people or sleeping with prostitutes or whatever they were doing, you know, because they had some type of kink. Um, and I feel like these people are scared of the consequences for coming against you because they know that they're under judgment. They're starting to see things fall apart. Their money going down. Some of them are being investigated. You know, this karmic connection is going to shit. And that's because... Like I said in the last reading, the Most High is fed up with these karmic connections. There are spiritual towers that are coming. And it's already starting now to end these karmic connections. Period. Someone here could like sweets or maybe they just want to eat something off of you. <laughs> hey, that's a side note. Listen, this person could have been into the party life, okay? Whoever they were connected with, they found messages. They've been looking at you in this person's phone. You know, they have most likely read your DMs, your text messages, whatever. Whatever you've sent to this person, you know, most likely the karmics around them have in fact read that, okay? Yeah, and then we have over here, if you love me, you do it. So this person very well could have been on some type of substance, okay, t trying to live out some type of fetish here, paid somebody, what you know, paid, I mean, I do like those, uh, whatever the hell that is on her legs, what are those fishnets? I have fishnets, but I don't have any that looks like that. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is, <laughs> I love lingerie, but the point is, is that they went out here, they paid somebody to do whatever type of kink it was that they were into. And it's like all the money, 
all of the sex, all of the everything, the karmic connections, all these different things are just still not pleasing your person. Your person still wants you back, okay? They still love you, okay? Yes, they're coming with a whole lot of baggage, okay? Make sure you make sure that they're cleared by a doctor before you touch them again, but this person is missing you, okay? They feel like they got what you need, okay? Them watching you online could be creating some type of drama within this karmic connection because the person knows that their mind is focused over where you are and you're just sitting here minding your damn business here in all the tea, okay? That's what it is. It's, I'm going to propose to you. This person is really has really been thinking about it, and that's something they want to do, or they want to preserve the marriage for chosen ones if you're married, or they want to take things to the next level. But they know that this lifestyle is not is not it for them. Okay. So if you enjoyed this, and if you made it all the way to the end, oh, I don't know what kind of emoji to put on this one. <laughs> Shit. Put me a heart down there. Put me a star down there. Put me a peace symbol down there if you made it all the way to the end. You are the MVP. I truly love and appreciate you guys. Thank you for liking the videos. It really does help as well as subscribing. It, it helps to get the message out to the collective. Namaste.